announced by President Biden aims to help address mental health treatment in the military. The legislation was lobbied by an Arizona couple who lost their only child to suicide. News for Tucson's Nicole Costantino is live in our newsroom with what this means for service members. Nicole. Robbie Desney, good morning. Brandon Caserta was 21 years old when he died on the flight line at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia in 2018. His parents and friends say they later discovered notes describing hazing and bullying coming from members and leaders of his helicopter squadron. Over the past four years, his parents have been pushing for legislation that protects those in the military who are experiencing mental health emergencies. The Brandon Act now allows service members to anonymously seek mental health treatment if necessary outside of the chain of command and requires a mental health evaluation as soon as they self-report it. Earlier last month, U.S. Senator Mark Kelly met with members of Arizona State University ROTC and representatives of the ASU Pat Tillman Veterans Center for discussion about the law. Now the services are going to be required to have a plan and have training um, and a process where uh, service members can get the mental health services they need to get through tough times, tough serving in the military. Kelly is a former combat pilot who served in the Navy for 25 years. The Veterans Crisis Hotline is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and can be accessed online at veteranscrisisline.net. Robbie.